Hi friends, in this video we are going to see an example on analog butterworth filter design. Okay, so this is the given question. It says that point nine less than or equal to mod h of e power j mod less than one for zero to omega less than zero to zero point two five. And mod h of e power j omega less than zero point two four point four pi less than or equal to omega less than or equal to pi. Now let's plot the given transfer function here. Uh, given response. It says that its value lies between zero point nine to one. So lies zero point one to nine. Zero point nine to one. This is one. So this this is point nine. For zero to two pi. Zero to point two pi. Okay. And its value is point two for point four pi to pi. Okay. So this is the given plot, and my graph for you. Well, this is the Butterworth graph. The model is three point zero. Right. Now we need to design a analog Butterworth filter. For that, we need mainly first thing we need is calculating the order. So calculate the order. Then. Okay. We know that. At pass band frequency, whatever attenuation we have is a pass band attenuation, and at stop band frequency, whatever attenuation we have is a stop band stop band attenuation, right? So from these values, from these figures, we can say that my omega p will be 0.25, omega s will be 0.45. Okay. Now, after this, attenuations are. Pass band attenuation. It is given by one plus omega square. This is point nine. And stop band attenuation is point. Two. So these two are the values. Now, if we solve this, and if we get the omega value from here and lambda value from here, so. I have done it already for the value of these values. This value turns out to be 0.48, and this value turns out to be 4.8. Okay, epsilon and lambda values. Now we know that the Butterworth filter order is given by n less than or equal to log lambda by epsilon by log omega s by omega p. Right. So substituting the values here, log of 4.8 by 0.48 by log of my omega s is 0.4 by 0.2. So this value turned out to be 4. So the three point change. And I rounded it up to four. Okay. So my n value I got for as four. Next, next thing is that for the design and for order n equal to four, we know the transfer function H of S, the analog transfer function which we are calculating for order n equal to four. It is given by one by S square plus point six seven seven S plus one. Into s square plus 1.84 s plus 1. Okay, we can if we know the table for Butterworth filter for order 1 to 7, we can write it write it down directly. If not, go with the formula. S k is equal to omega c into e power j phi k, where phi k is given as pi by 2 plus 2 n minus 1. By 2n 
Wait. Okay. Next is it. We got the order. Now, for this transfer function, or for this thing, I need to calculate the cutoff frequency. Right? So, cutoff frequency in terms of pass band or in terms of stop band we can take. So, I will take in pass band. It is, whenever I take pass band, it should be epsilon. So, epsilon 1 by n. Right? Uh, my epsilon value was 0 0.48 0 0.48 power my n value is 4 and omega p value is 0 0.25 pi. so my cutoff frequency is given as 0, 0 0.24 pi ok so this is my cutoff frequency as far as we consider this transfer function, this is for omega c equal to 1 radian per second. Okay. It is for omega c equal to 1 radian per second. So, we need to calculate the h of s for omega c equal to 0.24 pi. Okay. For that, what we need to do is, we need to do, what we need to do is, substitute Substitute S to S by 0 0.24 pi. Okay. And within this equation, so that we get the final H of S by final H of S, which will be in terms of S by 0 0.24 pi for this. Okay. In place of S, I will substitute S by 0 0.24 pi. Okay. There completes my design. So I found out the transfer function of the given Butterworth filter. And I found out the order, I found out the cutoff frequency. As far as design is concerned, these three points are considered to be the important points for the design. Okay. In the next video, we will see how to design a Chebyshev filter using given specifications. That's all for this video. Thank you.